Hey, it's Ricardo and welcome back to Breath Edge, the space survival game that has its tongue very much in its cheek. So, what's it all about? Well, a couple of people have been saying, how do you get some of these items? Do I have to craft them all? Now, a lot of these things can be found by turning directly around the back of your shuttle and heading off past some of the asteroids. You're going to find part of the cargo hold that has got all the mail there. Before we get into that, click that like and subscribe button and also that notification icon and that'll let you know when I'm putting more videos of games like Breath Edge and Subnautica on YouTube. Yes, now look, we found a big pair of underpants in one of the boxes and you must be thinking, well, hang on, is it worthwhile using the durability on some of my tools to break open these boxes? Well, indeed it is because you're going to find a numerous amount of items here such as water, food, metal, but you can find that anywhere, right? But you've got oxygen candles that'll help you prolong your stay. You'll find parts of the oxygen generation system there as well. So it's worthwhile heading on over here and um, packing a couple of handy scrappers with you as well to break open these cargo boxes to see what they're gonna find and what you're gonna find inside. Sometimes you might just get metal, sometimes you might get something a bit more funky. And it's the funky stuff that we're really after. And with that, I'm not talking underpants. So you can see I've also fashioned the drill as well. That's a good source of things like metal and, and what have you. But I still haven't sourced some of the other items. Now, I'm using the oxygen candles to give myself a couple more breaths, just to prolong my stay out here. A um, bit foolish, really. I should be using that to go and get stuff like paint and whatnot from where the smuggler is. But it's not a problem. I've just opened a box and I have found a suitcase. Now, the suitcase is a great little device. That suitcase, as I've mentioned in some other videos, is going to extend my storage capacity. So when I do finally go off on my journey, I can use that suitcase and pack loads of stuff inside it and extend my inventory no end because you never know what you're going to need when you get over to the other side of this debris field. Well, I've been burning through oxygen candles like there's no tomorrow. This guy's just floating here. I could drag him along if I really wanted to. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing with all these bodies and corpses, but um, it's not like I'm collecting them or anything. But that's what I've been doing. So, Again, keeping an eye on your oxygen, keeping an eye on um, the other consumables, like how much you have to eat, how much you have to drink. Picking up all those items from the cargo area of the ship that is behind the shuttle, I think has been key. Now, as we get into the shuttle, we head our way over to our workbench. Looking at the equipment we can build. We've also got an attachment, an accelerator. Now the accelerator, um, there's a couple of places you can find items for this, either down in the toilet or in the mail slot. But the accelerator will let you boost your speed um, via use of this funnel and pipe. Now use your imagination for what this funnel and pipe is used for. It says best use on a full stomach. So you're probably meant to be farting your way through space by the use of this funnel and pipe contraption but it does increase the amount of speed that you can fly through space and also increase the distance that you're going to travel you've also got a boost function that on the pc if you hold the shift key down which is normally used for run when you've got gravity you can use that to boost your way around well around the the debris field so it's worthwhile building this and uh, making sure you've got it fitted and equipped to your suit it is quite an item to behold. So as you can see, I've got the old suitcase. Um, I can put things in that, increase my inventory. We've mentioned that. I still haven't upgraded my spacesuit yet. I really should. Um, I need some additional items like aluminium, which I can get by using the drill and mining some, some asteroids around here. So the suitcase, I'm not going to need just yet. Um, you can put it in the storage compartment, you can just drop it on the floor. You can put it basically wherever you need it to be, but it does carry additional items uh, and that is, that is fantastic. So, what's next? Well, I really have to get on with um, doing the spacesuit upgrade and also get 
something that will allow me to get some other items out of the rock and out of tight areas, like a grabber. I need to get that grabber built, and I'll do that in future videos. So, keeping an eye on the water, keeping an eye on the food as well. Um, let's go and do some food and water management outside the ship. But it's a good um, opportunity to get out there and, and test the boosting. As you can see, 12 meters per second, put the boost, you can double your speed as well. All that is great. So, I've been Ricardo, this has been Breath Edge and Building the Accelerator. It's been researching the um, cargo section that is behind your shuttle uh, and breaking those boxes. And all these items here that you'll find there will allow you to venture out a little bit further than what you've been able to and get around a little bit quicker. Thanks very much for watching. Check out for more videos in this series where I talk about more games like Breath Edge, Elite Dangerous, Subnautica and the like. See you soon. Thanks for watching.